Whoa, what's going on guys? I'm Zoe from We Got Ice and right now we're gonna try this new energy. Oh! It's called water, people. Drink fucking water. <laughs> Stop drinking these energy. No, I'm about to have an energy drink. We got a new we got a new sponsor. I haven't had one of these. Oh, I had a sip. I split one with Jack. Are you lying on camera? No, on the 3rd of July, when oh. we were the only ones in the <laughs> office. We celebrate the 3rd of July. <laughs> yeah, it's a big 3rd of July this year. Ooh, Ooh, island guava? My favorite, my two favorite flavors. Island and guava. I still haven't posted my Wildress Wednesday. Wait, let's get this noise, Zach. We'll make it an ASMR. I could have done better. That's on me. I watched a lot of Star Wars when I was in Chicago. This Wilders Wednesday, I don't think it's gonna get a lot of likes, but I'm doing it, it's kind of less for me and it's more for Whitey Ford. Cause he doesn't get the respect he deserves. I might tag Michael K's ass. Wish I didn't <laughs> phrase it that way. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you my cool thing yeah. I did yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zach, I did something yesterday that you would have loved to do. You'd love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. 20 questions, you get to go. Animal? I did it yesterday on the 4th of July. Yeah. Is your first question animal? That's what you do when you play 20 questions. I am not. Is it an animal? Yes no, or no? I wouldn't say no animal relation. Okay. You should 19. probably say what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to play 20 questions? Maybe not the most interesting view. I was wondering, Yeah. maybe this will be vlog. Do you think it would be Zoe? You're a content guy. Would it be a good Jolly Olive game if there was like a 20 questions baseball type question? Yeah. It's like, are you a shortstop? Yeah. Like well, that, basically- That's kind of doing the- Wardle. wardle but like you asked But the like, questions. it's more personal, right? Is 20 questions too many for that? I, I mean, think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean like you get to ask, kind of like guess who, right? Is kind that, of. Is that the- like, Are you a shortstop? Yeah. Maybe. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you, are you still active? So, I mean, it starts to get weird, like, if you do a fucked up one. Yeah. If you do, like, a bench player for the Red Sox in the well, 90s, you could, it'd be like, okay. You could do it, like, whoever uses the least amount of ass. That's what I'm okay. saying. Yeah, you that, could kind of... Okay. I like that. Jolly, Teaser. Make a video. Jolly. Oh, my God. Luke got set on fire. Did you get set right? No. <laughs> Did you get set on fire? Yeah. First son of the this year, is my God. tan, Jake. Looks good. Thank you. Hey, he, don't make fun of him. You got set on fire. <laughs> That's true. That's no laughing matter. Were you in lava, dude? Yeah. How's, how's your niece? She's good. She's tiny. I'm thinking she about doesn't do much. Her. She's kind of like a worm. Yeah. Don't turn the camera past Luke's shoulder. Look at me. Before you're all starts. I'm... You're getting this? I've been waiting for you to post. Kev, what's a good caption? What I'm, the hell did you do to your what? friends? Oh, well, I'm, was that? I'm trying to tell the people about who Whitey Ford really was, and you wrote the book on it. Uh, Whitey oh, Ford uh, about is what? a really old baseball about player. Baseball, uh, baseball, uh, oh, yeah, we can talk. I'm sorry. I built Ford tough. <laughs> I don't know anything about Whitey Ford. <laughs> what yeah. year was he alive? That's the problem, man. Nobody knows anything. What year? That's what I'm going to say. Nobody knows anything about Whitey Ford. He's like the Yankees record holder in every pitching category, and nobody cares. Yeah. How many 16 jerseys have you seen, Kev? Not too many. Yankees 16. Not too many. Fucking super mid Kyle started laughing. He's like, I've never seen one. Blah, blah, blah. I might be Whitey Ford's number one super fan. Who are some of the other hitters Yankee people talk about? Gehrig? DiMaggio. Got Gehrig. Mantle. Mantle's yeah, Mantle. I might yeah. put him too. I typed Ford wrong. In this clean 1962 World Series patch jersey? Sheesh. Hot. And that's it. And then I'll copy and paste it. I'll use the same caption on Twitter. I'm gonna tag Michael K on Instagram. I'll tag Cone too. I'll be real slutty. Instagram's going out, Maddie. Good, good, good. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Okay. Cool, quick 25 likes. You post Yankee stuff on Twitter. They like that. Maddie, should I tell the vlog that we got a big video coming out soon? Oh, yeah. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to teleport? Oh. That's embarrassing, Maddie. Yeah. 
I thought that would just go away. I think it's teleport, dog. I've always now been on teleport. Yeah. There was something else, I yeah. forget, but it was clearly fun. Oh, they changed it. So here's my thing. If I could fly, I already have a little bit of social media clout. I could become, like, the most famous person in the world. Teleport, you could, but also people would be like, you fucking fake, man. Yeah. Did that with editing. Yeah. Yeah. There's no security. Because you can get a little... You get a little... <coughs> oh, my God. Maddie changes answer to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie! Can I tell you the one thing Chicago has figured out? What's that? The Chicago dog. Mm -hmm. Basically, the secret is they put a pickle on the hot dog. It's perfecto. I love a good pickle. It's perfect, man. Yeah. I'm not the biggest pickle guy. I'm not the biggest hot dog guy. They go together. I have a little mouth. <laughs> You're still cocking the claw camera. <laughs> I'm coming to the kitchen four times. And every time you tell on a new story. <laughs> <laughs> this is the podcast version of the vlog. That's a normal size mouth. You think so? Yeah. What? His mouth? Yeah. I struggle. If I get like a if I get like a big cheeseburger, I feel it on that first bite. Like I'm struggling. But the Chicago dog was perfect, dude. Tell this man had a Chicago. I love me a good Chicago dog. Dude, that sliver just, of pickle on oh, there? Yeah, you Cause it's like what? It's like a quarter of a pickle? Yeah, yeah, it's a spear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Pickle spear is what they're known as. Yeah. Half a pickle industry. would be way too much. Uh, you can still put ketchup and mayo. I think I did. And it was delicious, man. Put ketchup on it? Yeah. Dude, they're gonna kill you in the comments. The Chicago people. Really? That's you a don't sin. do that? It's a sin. Do they do mustard? Yeah, it's like mustard. That's, That's so like fucking Chicago. Say it. I'm just saying. I'm just warning you. Hey, let me eat this pillow and call it deep dish pizza. <laughs> it's just an actual pie. It's like an apple pie, fresh, but dude. instead of the no, apples, it's, it's like, sauce and cheese. I would, pizza. I would feel bad if I caught like a rat eating it. I think the opinions have gotten harsher. <laughs> the further we've gotten, <laughs> it went from like, it went from the night we had it to being like, this is fine. It's just not for me. And then. I, as more and more time goes on, it's just gotten harsher and harsher. <laughs> the part that actually hit, hurt my soul and why I've gone full heel on it, you can't have two pieces. Yes. So then we had, or the Chicago deep dish. Deep, deep dish. Deep dish. So then we had the, uh, the real deep dish and that was sliced too. And it almost like put me asleep. Yeah. Like sure. at the table. Should the title of this video be a bunch of New Yorkers talk about Chicago? Talk trash dish? about Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Talk trash about Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Chicago. Zach, do you know about the Joe's uncut pizza? <laughs> I don't think so. more behind that. You're no, gonna... please. Do you want to talk? Do you guys want to gather around the table? And... What are your thoughts on a calzone? Yes. Yeah. Spicy? No. Cheesy? Yeah. I think a calzone <laughs> kind of scratches a similar itch to deep dish, but it just does it way better. I have video evidence of Joe's eating an uncut. Okay, here we go. It's <laughs> Louis all night. I'm all night, he's uncut. So, they sent Old that. Van Dan. Sent that to him, no slice. A lot of tweets about it. Another bite, oh, he doesn't Does like it. Does he go it. for the same hole? Yeah. Oh, he uh, creates a new. <laughs> So, oh, dang. Oh, 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 I'm a little so bit of a shark. I don't know. <laughs> you know, they call Chicago the Windy City. Am I right? Not, not anymore. One, not one gust of wind the entire time we were there. I've never was that. praying for wind. Gust, we were at the Cubs game. Flags were limp. Center field. No wind. It's the so, only thing that was limp. So, like, Chicago's kind of built on a farce. But at least the security at the stadium was nice. Except they weren't. They hated us. <laughs> they hated us. Right, were you guys causing a ruckus? No, so we, we were having a great <laughs> time. Hoping a little bit. There's some friendly people at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field that were coming up saying hi, take a picture, keep it moving. Our main security guard didn't really like us because we were 
in the aisle a lot. So we'd say, hey, if you could get out of the aisle, we'd say, oh yeah, absolutely. So this one guy comes over, old man. So he walks over and he gives us the, hey, can I see your boys' tickets? We're in our seats. So the five of us We're all like, go to get our tickets out, like, yes, sir, absolutely. So excited for it. Show him my ticket, someone else shows him his ticket, so two of the five, and he just puts his head down and walks away. And just... He wanted to kick us out so bad. <laughs> he just couldn't he was, believe that uh, we, we would keep standing between that's, innings. That's great. And then we kind of left in a frenzy. Chicago, Wait, I'm welcome to you with open arms. I'm into the Chicago dogs. There was something else we liked about Chicago that we were like, bang. The rooftop. <laughs> no, we try to go to a rooftop. <laughs> we didn't really try to go to a rooftop. Old man Dan just kept floating it out there and then whenever we wanted to, he was like, he was oh, like oh, it's past my bedtime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's like- Oh, Club 503. It's <laughs> <laughs> your hotel room. <laughs> Club 503 was lit. <laughs> Club 503 wasn't bad. Oh, no, 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 it was the uh, shower mirror. The, oh, oh my God! Woo. Chicago mirror, mirror in the hotel, Bluetooth hookup. Oh Play music through music the mirror. Through the mirror. It was pretty wow. sick. It was that's insane. why. Pretty sick. Yeah. It was worth it. How was the bean? Bean, bean was bit, and I don't think any, <laughs> I don't think anyone sh- from Chicago will fight us on that. Right, right. Like the bean feels right, like right. Because didn't that didn't you like. ask people if it had a meaning, and everyone was like, yeah, not no, really. Like, you know, like yeah. it's just a, a metal mirror. It was bigger than I thought. Whenever you see it on someone's Instagram, and you're like, oh, they saw the bean in Chicago. I don't know. It was pretty big. Like you walk under it. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the that selfie was, was pretty cool that we took. The one underneath that the, was yeah. an awful picture. <laughs> That's underneath the bean. Okay. Yeah. It's POV, you're a well. <laughs> you're down a well. That's a, bad, that's a bad pick. Yeah. So, look at Joe's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, do we talk lotion yet? He didn't seem happy with Joe's. Joe's tries to go through security customs with an industrial sized lotion <laughs> bottle. The one you find in your mom's bathroom Co- that never ends. Yeah. Costco or Sam's Costco. This is where it was purchased. You don't take it out of the bathroom because it's like too much of an object. Yes, mm-hmm. it stays. And then this is his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's literally saying, are you serious, my brother? <laughs> he tells him this is too big. Joe's hits him with the, can I get a couple pumps for the road? And the guy's like, like, no, that. man. No, no, he didn't like that. So so I don't know. The trip, 10 out of 10. Yes. We'll, trip. we'll do again. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah. What was your first question? We were, you started this off as like, loud? Zach, I can't wait to tell you about this thing and then we got Oh, track. I still haven't told no, you. No, no. And that'll wrap up the whole I think we have okay. a whole video. I did something that I think Zach will be jealous of yesterday. You guys all have 20 questions. <laughs> no. I went to the movies. I saw Asteroid City. I did I saw that. Wes Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. My first Wes Anderson movie. Really? First? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm still in a pretzel. It's a play. Okay. Of a movie. Spoilers. It's a, that's a little tricky. Yeah, Asteroid City spoilers, I guess, for anybody who's watching. I guess we can't put that in. No, I can say that. You didn't see, like, Fantastic Mr. Fox or No. Those are all really good. I know. So I'm excited. I'm going to tune into them. Yeah. Who is your favorite character? My favorite character? Yeah. Steve Carell was the best one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because he just had a lot of good one-liners that I really liked. Look at us. Yeah. A couple cultured guys. We can't put the spoilers in there. No. no. Or maybe just a skip. You haven't asked my favorite character. Who, oh, who's your favorite character, Jake? And again, I don't know if the people can hear this. Can I guess? Yeah. Is it Tom Hanks? No. Okay. Who's your favorite character? It's the alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do like that that's your favorite character. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a theory that I don't think, uh, I mean, not confirmed yet, that the aliens were just playing baseball and he went to retrieve the ball and then he signed it and brought it back. I don't know if that's what Wes was going for, but but we we can relate it to baseball. Oh, Zach spent some time in Chicago, you may have heard, and there was something that came with me. And if your TSAs. Stop listening. But I travel with my cushy dreams. 
Helps me sleep, helps me relax. Sometimes, sometimes you know what I'll do, I'll take a little bit before the flight. I'll throw on a movie, cinema. I was gonna try to do a McConaughey there, but I didn't really have it. Cushy Dreams, they have it. They have THC, that's the real stuff. They used to be all CBD, now they've got the THC. Honestly, that's where I like to live. That's what I like. You find out what you like, and you kinda need to do that. They've got different flavors, they've got different uh, levels. Levels? Units of measurement? Try out Cushy Dreams. Head to CushyDreams.com, use code JOMBOY. What's that gonna do? It's gonna save you 25%. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Try it out for yourself, try it out for a loved one. It might help you relax. Maybe it'll help you enjoy something a little more. Maybe it'll help your focus. For some people, I don't wanna name names. There's a guy that calls Blitzball games. There's a guy that's one of my floorball teammates. It kind of focuses them. So I don't know. I would check it out, and I would check it out with Cushy Dreams. Code John Boy, 25% off. My heart's in Budapest, my, my broken treader with you. Ooh. Wes Anderson.